just van insurance companies. Van insurance companies just take the piss, don't they? But do you reckon, though, like, we just look at what they're charging us, but I think if you look at the grand scheme of things, how many insurance claims do they have come through the door? But back in the day, the car insurance, I know it can't keep coming down, right? But it used to come down, didn't it? Yeah? Like one year it'd be 1200 quid. The next year, if you'd been good and you hadn't crashed, it'd be like but if 900 you look at quid. general business, business rates need to go up. Now it goes up. Yeah, but that's part of uh, anything. You should be putting your prices yeah. up. But insurance companies, they put them up massively, right? Because. So, yeah, because we put a video out about boiler servicing. So I actually try to break it down of the running cost of a business. Let me know if I've missed anything. Hello, welcome to Off The Job. Overtime where there's banter and your story shared. Please be warned, there may be some general explicit content. Right, welcome to um, episode 42 of Off The Job, Overtime. Right, we've just been discussing with Robbie because he still don't know what he's doing. He's mucking about with the bloody colour behind the cloud there that I'm not really happy about. And they've about only anyway. gone and stuck bats on the wall and ripped all the paint oh, off. No, look at the paintwork. If you're listening to us, oh, they stuck bats on the wall for the Halloween for the promo, yeah. And the, the idiots, right, I'm just going <laughs> to call them that because we didn't know what they used. It was just like, yeah, I was sorry to call you an idiot, Robbie and Abby, but like, you know what I mean? It's pulled all the paint off. <laughs> <laughs> the bats have pulled all the paint off. I mean, it looks more like a building site now. I think that's. I the don't think we should open up, like <laughs> get people to look into that wall because it's a lot worse than paint. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible, anyway. But we're talking about it, Robbie. We're like, Robbie, I'm swear he winds me up before this episode, right? He keeps us waiting, right? And to be fair, I've kept them waiting this morning because I've had a bit of a small issue with van. Yeah, you come in angry today. No, you're. I did, didn't I? Because Tell him about your van insurance. Van insurance. Well, bearing in mind, my van is probably not even worth two grand. The renewal come in yesterday. Five thousand four hundred pounds. <laughs> 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 Going from a one monthly payment of eighty nine pounds to five hundred and forty pound a month. The old green wagon. <laughs> I was like, I was just going to bed last night and I was like, I see the email. What time did you see it? I see it at 11 o'clock. I bet you couldn't sleep. I, was, <laughs> I bet I you wanted like, to ring him there and I then. Was, yeah, I didn't even <laughs> ring it did in you case check? anyone was there. <laughs> Somebody got to be there to take this call because this, that ain't fair. <laughs> <laughs> Five and a half grand for a shit eat motor. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I found the bird. It's not Kieran said, "Keep calm, Pete. Keep calm. Just keep calm." Yeah, I kept calm. I said, uh, "Yes, there seems to be a problem with my renewal. Um, I won't be paying that amount of money." She the went, thing is, <laughs> she went. I can see where you're coming from here. She goes, "I can exactly see where you're coming." From. <laughs> I went to be fair. I said at first I laughed. Then I cried. Then I threw my phone against the wall. I said, <laughs> it, "I was in a state mm. of like." disbelief like the thing when, is the way you the way you went about it she would want to help you people oh, yeah, shout she, down the phone they're not going to want to no, help no no that's right you're completely right about it kieran you're completely mm. right i was going you know all right you boop, boop, <laughs> is all this about are you censoring for robbie now because you don't do a good enough yeah, job you don't. yeah he still can't do it oh would you say he's been here a year he's up for his renewal what is it tomorrow <laughs> is, is, do we need to get into this? what is it was his, it, his yearly review. He's having a yearly review tomorrow. Um, so you I mean, might not you see wanna, him next week. <laughs> yeah, if you want to comment on what you think and like maybe have a bit of like impact or input, not impact, input into like if Robbie's doing a good job or not. Because like, I swear, right, he's winding me up before the episode. Yeah. He's like, are you ready yet, Robbie? And he's just like this on his keyboard. People can hear that, Pete. I know, they meant to. Yeah. <laughs> but all I can hear is his keyboard in the background. Are you ready yet, Robbie? And I swear he ain't doing nothing. He's just he's just tapping the buttons. I've got a big announcement. Go on, what is it? So Pete walked in this morning. He's only gone and joined the gym. Yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> he signed up last night because he knew I was going to mention it. I signed up last night after seeing the promo for the last week's, for Monday's episode. <laughs> oh, better sign up for the gym. The only thing is you joined a gym <laughs> and it don't open until 6.45 in the Hello! morning. But it was late last night. I got home late. I got... Quarter to nine, a rustic file. I've got to join the gym. What time did you go to the gym? Quarter to nine. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. So I signed up to the gym. Forty pound a month, thirty pound deposit, forty pound a month, and then they went. I said, "What time I'm going to get in here in the morning?" Six. They went, "No, don't have to six forty-five." I was like, oh, "Just take so me now." Card now you've got to change your gym. You've got to change the gym. I can't go there at six forty-five anymore. That's not practical, is it? Huh? 
Huh? I get up at five. I've got, to be, I've got to be in there so early, yeah, mate. If you join Pure Gym, you can come and train with me on the podcast day. Ooh, well, not with me, but that like, nice? we can be in the same room That'd together. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm. Tuesdays. Yeah. 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 So you have Monday. to cancel that bloody gym membership now. I will. I'll gym. cancel it. I'll go in there tonight and say, listen, this is not what I signed up for. I cannot get in here at 6.45. It's just not practical. Mm. All right. You should go Brentwood on the way back to Pure Gym. Sign up there, then go there and cancel. Oh yeah, I'll just I'll just hemorrhage money on the way. Yeah, I've just done my van <laughs> insurance. I got the renewal. Yeah, it's now down to a grand a year, or whatever it. Twelve hundred, actually twelve hundred. That's still an increase, isn't it? Mm. Still an increase, but I'll just oh yeah, whatever. It's van insurance companies. Van insurance companies just take the piss, don't they? Yeah, we were like, but do you reckon though, like? We we just look at what they're charging us, but I think if you look at the grand scheme of things, how many insurance claims do they have come through the door? But back in the day, Kieran, right, people used to get, right, we still get no claims bonuses, right, and we keep our no claims bonus discount. Yeah. But back in the day, the car insurance, I know it can't keep coming down, right, but mm. it used to come down, didn't it? Yeah. Like one year it'd be twelve hundred quid. The next year, if you'd been good and you hadn't crashed, it'd be like. But if you look at quid. general business, business rates need to go up. Now it goes up. Yeah, but that's part of uh, anything. You should be putting your prices yeah, up. Yeah, but, but but insurance companies they it should go down. They yeah, put yeah, them up. They sting you. They like, put it yeah. up. They put them up massively right because what they know is right that people generally can't be asked to go through the rigmarole of changing insurance companies getting their driving license sending it off mm. no claims confirmation and all that people just want to stay with the same insurance companies because it's easier isn't it yeah i wonder how much it is now for a like a young driver just past their test oh, mental. how much oh, is Robbie, it how, Robbie? how much, how much is it? started uh i pay 140 pounds a month 140 pound a month that ain't too, too bad, bad really, but if you're it? like 18 and that's with me my fiance and my mum. You know why says that? My fiance. That's what you used to do, and it had your mum in it to try and yeah. make it cheaper. Ah, that's why you done it. Did it work? I don't, I don't what about right? Yeah, what about Mrs. What about? Did, did that bring it down? Having her on it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. 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 My fiance, he said. See that way he said oh, that. Fiance. My fiance. Yeah. Yes, my fiance. My I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna marry. I anyway, put, I put a ring on it. <laughs> I put a ring on her. Did you uh, <laughs> get any, an, up to anything interesting on the weekend? Oh, my little girl was in Annie. She was in an under oh. under eighteens production of Annie at the Harlow Playhouse. Mm. Um, so I went and watched that, right? And she's, but well, I'm just saying, I'm not just saying it, right? Because she was Duffy, one of the main orphan characters in it, right? Mm. I've got to say, right? She nailed it. She was really good. I'm biased, but she, oh, generally speaking, she's really good, right? But you know one thing about, like, kids acting, right? What I, what makes me cringe right, about kids acting is when they act as adults, right? It just makes me cringe out because they they don't know what an adult is. So how can they act as one? Well, you know when what they're I mean? saying adult things. Yeah, mean? well, just, just trying to... Pretending to be adults, do you know what I mean? It just, I just like. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think all that sort of musical theatre and stuff is really good for your confidence. Oh yeah, sending oh, your kids too to good. Well, yeah, my, my I, my it God. almost makes you too confident. I see older people You're that's too done confident. Me- <laughs> too confident. I see people that are old with it and done musical theatre. So I'm not too confident. Why? <laughs> sometimes it on pu- them. <laughs> sometimes it pushes them too far, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it can do. It can do. You can. You don't personal. want little divas, do you? But like, um, like she, she is good. She, yeah, to be fair, she is good. I think what I'll predict it. Right, she'll predict it. She'll get a. She'll get a break. Right, mm. and she'll nail it, and then she'll go. She will. That kid of mine. And I know we're all proud parents and all that, right? Well, you two ain't, yeah. Jury's still out whether you're Jaffers or not, right? <laughs> but she will go. She'll get she'll get a break and she'll just go. She's my kid's gonna be big one day, I swear. In what like acting? Yeah, in some sort of like yeah, like a drama. Who was it? Did you say that? I'm so bad with names. Who was it that played Annie? She didn't play Annie. No, sorry. Who was in that play? Which Evan, daughter? Evan, the youngest. See, I can't. I'm so bad with this stuff. Like, I can't even picture which daughter that is. The little one. Yeah, that makes sense. The top, middle, and bottom. Yeah. <laughs> I do know. Yeah, she's the cheeky one. Cheeky one. Yeah, yeah. the cheeky one. Did she, did she go musical theatre? Like she was. Classes? She was at a drama school, but it um went it 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 um closed down. Mm. 
still with, she's still with an agency of, associated with Italia Conti, which is a big drama school in London. So she's um, she's on the agency there. So um, she nice. gets a she gets a crack at a few things here and there. I think it ain't for a while. But yeah, but this thing was an independent like company, like run. It's like an under 18s one. Which is good. Well, good. It's good. It's good for the kids. It's good. And and the, the actors, some of the actors and that were really good, spot on. Do you know what I mean? I was um I was gonna get us in deep into pricing. Oh, I right. sort of wrote something up. I like the way you just link them two in there like that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought people were gonna get good bored. Link, now. You'd make a great DJ. People were gonna get bored of that. <laughs> so let's move on. It's been ten minutes. Kids song goes straight into some adult. <laughs> I can see it dying out. There's what? not much more left to that conversation. Oh, that one was there now. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, Pricing. Go on then. So yeah, because we put a video out about boiler servicing. So I actually try to break it down of the running cost of a business. Let me know if I've missed anything. Mm. So van insurance, mm. van maintenance, which includes like repairs, MOT and tax. Yeah. Fuel, mm. company insurance mm. and tools. Is there anything that I've missed? Um, I don't think so. I think no. that's mainly everything. I mean, the, the actual vehicle itself costs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Van maintenance. So van insurance, let's say, not in your case, I'll put 80 I quid mean, a not, month. Not only, yeah, but not only like van insurance, but like the actual, the hire of it or lease hire of it. Is that in that? A lot of vehicles are lease hired at the True, moment. True, yeah. So let's van. And that's a lot of money. Hire. So what, 300 quid a month? Sometimes more than that, but there's a basis. This is yeah, ruining my real. prices now. So van insurance eighty quid, van maintenance hundred quid a month. Uh, uh, van hire three hundred or lease. Fuel four hundred quid a month. Would you say hundred quid a week? <sighs> Depending on your geographic. Depends where you what work, you're doing, yeah. but as an average, company yeah. insurance fifty quid a month. Tools hundred quid a month. So total, that's ruining my price. Let's say around a thousand pound a month. Yep. To run like running costs. If you was to work for someone, what would you get? It's around 200 quid a day? Yeah. That's if you got a van. Yeah. It's very rare that people will buy your tools. But if you get a van, fuel covered, people can get probably like 250 in London, but you've got the travel cost. So yeah. let's say 200 quid a day with you a van. You get a grand diesel. a week, can you? Grand a week on a company yeah, so that's four before grand, tax. Four grand a month, yeah. And if you was basing your prices, I've done two examples, 300 pound a day and 400 pound a day. If you were getting three hundred pound a day, that six k a month minus them costs, that's five k a month. So you're actually getting an extra thousand pound a month. Mm. I'm, I, I was doing it based off seven hundred pound, but a thousand pound a month, which is fifty pound a day extra. So it's not a lot. No. It's not worth that, if, that's that, if you're that, earning three hundred pound a day. That's your profit margin on your business. Yeah, so three hundred pound a day is not enough. No, really, it's not. Of course, it ain't. So if you go four hundred pound a day, that's eight grand a month <coughs> minus cost is seven k. So you're looking at about an extra three grand a month. So you probably look at in more than four hundred pound a day to make it worthwhile. Yeah, I mean this is the whole thing. What I said to you earlier about like um, why people ask why are tradesmen on or why do people charge so much money in the trades? Because you only have to do two simple sums, right? The two simple sums are what is an average mortgage? Probably about fifteen hundred quid a month. Keep your van on the road every month for five hundred quid. That's two grand. Mm. A month, twenty four grand a year. What is the average? What is the average um, average wage in Britain, Robbie? What is the average wage in Britain? Uh, in twenty twenty three, it was thirty four thousand, thirty five thousand, thirty five thousand. So an extra nine grand. So that's the median average salary. Nine. So worker. nine grand on like before anything. So for the, you've got nine grand left if you was to to be on the average wage, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? And that's why tradesmen charge so much money. <laughs> yeah, because you, you break it down even more. So say if you've got to be... It's not even so much money. It's charging what is... Yeah, you've got to be, say, between three and four hundred pounds a day to be worth yeah. it. Near enough four hundred. Yeah, to, to, to but just get by and make a bit of profit. Even if you break it down in, in prices, yeah, you say a boiler service, if you allowed, say, an hour and a half... Mm. And you charge a hundred pound plus materials, and you done four of them in a day. That's quite realistic, isn't it? Yeah, 
four services in a day yeah. with your travel and stuff like yeah. that. That's charging a hundred quid plus materials. That's four hundred quid a day. Yeah. Basically, you're getting to do four services. That's fair enough. And if you're done gas certs, say six a day at forty five minutes each with your travel and stuff, you're looking at four twenty. So, I reckon an average hourly rate. If you was charging not travel time just for the job an hour is around £75 for mm. doing six hours of work. Mm. Obviously, you need the travel time. This is based off like an eight-hour day. Mm. So you've got to be between the £70, £80 an hour mark yeah. to be getting that 400 quid. Yeah. And if you're not earning that, you might as well go and work for someone. Might as well it's go not work worth it. Because you've got to look at the hours. It's not just that working hours. It's the hours in the evening doing the invoicing. Yep. So you've got to be... Quoting. When you actually break it down... Stress. The callbacks, when you break it down working for someone... For that extra £50 a day. Yeah, it's not worth it's it. not worth it, is it? So you need to be earning like you need three, to be 400 quid a three, day. 400 pound a day, guys. That's how much you need to be charging. Around 70, 80 pound an hour. Soul trader. Yeah, 70, 80 pound an hour. Otherwise... That's our recommendation. And I'm sure somebody who's in the general public sector will say, that's so much money, but just look at the maths. You need to break it down. Yeah. Break it down. Do that's the maths. across then all trades, understand. not yeah, just plumbing. all trades, yeah. You're a tradesman, weren't you, Robbie? <laughs> he said, I've done it. I've done it. Mm. I was a labourer. You was a labourer. Hard work, was the it, Robbie? The thing is, no matter what yeah. trade you do, all trades can earn good money. It just depends what customers yeah. you have. Yeah. If you have low-end customers, you ain't going to earn the money. No. I, I, b- breaking this down today, I should have done that when I was bloody self You should have done. You should have done. <laughs> I would have been like, I should have gone, gone and worked for someone. What is harder work, Robbie? Office work or working in the trades? Yeah, but it's on your body, it's harder. But yeah, physics, it's still stressful. Yeah. It's still mentally stressful in an office because... I'm sticking up for him here. If he had loads of videos yeah. to edit in the time frame, it's going to stress him out. Well, listen, like it physically and mentally, yeah, he should be strong and like is, fit is and fit, yeah, look, But physically and mentally is our game, not just mentally. So I would say, true. Yeah, we get both and yeah. both ends physically and mentally. I would say I'm more mentally drained working in an office than I'm. When I worked on physically, yeah, but you, yeah. but, you was, but no offence, but you was a labourer, like weren't you? Yeah. You got told you did. Yeah, we have to work out and yeah, do. I never did yeah. you? Sorry, I don't mean to be like. No, no, did you, know you mean, ever do I, any I labouring or anything? What? Did you ever do any labouring, or did you go straight into an apprenticeship? Um, no, I went straight into plumbing. So Robbie's done more labouring than you. Mate, I grafted when I was younger labouring, like from I've done, 15. I've done like, when I, I done like painting and decorating when I started. Even in my early 20s, I had to go back to labouring before I done plumbing. I oh. done electrics and I went to bloody labouring again, then worked with a plumber. That's when I went into plumbing. Yeah. I didn't really do a lot of labouring. I'll tell you what I did do. I used to do, um, I used to, do, I used to uh, let the, on a Sunday when we was at school, like not at school on a Sunday, but a Sunday job. I used to do a uh, clay pigeon shooting, like letting the traps off, letting the clays off. You know, oh, did you? When people shout, Paul! Yeah. They go, no, Peter. Oh, oh right, okay. <laughs> 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 right, Right, so, but I used to do that. That was fucking hard graft, mate. That was hard graft. Because you'd have to set them all up, mm. set all the traps up. Like we'd have, to ta- we'd have a tower that we'd have to climb up with it on our back. Set the trap up on top of a tower. Mm. There was, I remember one Sunday I was out there. It was a mi- It was like in the middle of summer. And I was in a sun trap in this area. And I was like setting off a rabbit trap, I think it was. And the sun was beating down. My, my neck was so sunburnt, right? It was like it was like an alligator skin. Like, <laughs> it's where I'd been sitting in the sun. And it was, like, it was hard work doing that. But we got paid 50 quid every week. Sometimes you'd have a dodgy 50 slip. <laughs> <laughs> slipped into your wage packet. Oi, oi. The Queen's winking at me in this one, mate. I'll have a different one to that. Because there was loads of it circulation. Yeah. Um, but that, that was quite a good job, that was, doing that. Um, when this comes out, it's going to be November. Ooh. People start talking about Christmas. Oh. Do you, my, do you... my girl, when she's going to put the decorations up in November. When do you so think? When stuff? do you think the right time is to put I, out? I think I said it first of December. We've yeah. been through this before. Anyway. First of December. Have we? Yeah, I think so. First of December. We used to put it up on twelfth. Do you enjoy this time of year? I like Christmas. I think a lot of people Christmas. like. Do you know when it gets crisp in the evenings, but the sun's out? Yeah. Like, 
I, I, I like Christmas. Trial. I love Christmas. I love a bit of Christmas. Last Christmas. I never used last to. Last Christmas was shit for reasons. Last Christmas. Out of my control. I gave you my heart. But, um, I mean, that was all right. But, but the very for... next day. <sighs> this year, <laughs> to save, save me from tears, tears, I give it to someone <laughs> special. Yeah, yeah right, Robin. as I get older, I like Christmas more and more. <laughs> Careless whisper. <laughs> well, yeah, I like Christmas as, I, as I'm getting older. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, you'll love it when you got kids. Yeah? Yeah. yeah it's expensive, isn't it? Yeah, but it's still so much nicer when you got kids. Mm. I used to like Christmas, like like growing up, going, you go on the piss People on Christmas Eve. People are going to be thinking, why are you talking about Christmas right now? Christmas and Christmas Eve yeah. like, was good when you was growing up. you go on the piss and all that. Do you know what I mean? As a kid... It was great. Obviously, you're excited and all that. But when you got kids, the excitement is back. You see their excitement. That's the best thing. Like, and then setting up everything for them. Like, you know, like, and then they come down in the morning and you record their little faces. Ah, look what I got! Oh, my father Christmas support me. It goes so quick though, doesn't it? There's like, I think it's with anything. You have a massive build up. I was massive, in it? Yeah. And then it's it just goes uh, before but that's you the know thing. it. So what you're saying, like, people are putting Christmas decorations up so early now, right? That then come December, when it's Boxing Day, people want to take them back down again because they've been up so long. But back in the day, you used to put them up around about the 12th, 13th, 14th of December, right? And then you leave them up to the 6th of January. Mm. But you get bored of it. Boxing Day, everyone's yeah. like, that's it, done. We're done. Yeah, put I, it back up in the loft. Get it done. I think the start of December is fine. Or maybe like a week after. Because you need a bit of a builder. Otherwise, it's just... Yeah, yeah. It's been and gone, isn't it? And the shops will start playing all the music and all that, won't they? You know what I mean? All I'm going to look out for some Black Friday deals. Oh, yeah. When's I never that? actually do that, that, but it makes sense. What date is that? Um, I can't actually remember. Oh, right, whatever. Okay, that was... That was um, in... Friday the 29th of November. Oh, is Friday it? the 29th. Yeah. Do you like, a lot that's of people, a month away. Do you reckon a lot of people put their prices out and then put them, look, make it look like there's a discount? Of course they do. That's marketing, mate. So bad. Why don't we do that? <laughs> but in it, like, but we couldn't the, just do that. This though. is back to the insurance companies, in it. Like yeah. they put it up, but then you'll talk to them and then they bring it down. It's like surely that's illegal. Like, well, why ain't that illegal? If we do that, do you know what I mean? It's like everything's corrupt. In that's country. why you can literally negotiate everything. Gets on your nerves, though, doesn't it? Gets on your nerves that you have to keep on your toes with stuff like that. You know, you're, it's like it's like Sky TV. They'll put your thing up, right? And then your phone will go, oh, I'm coming away. Oh, no, 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 hold on. We'll put it down for you again. Do you know what I mean? They're just liberty takers. They're all chances. They're all taking the piss. And all these people don't even realise how much money they profiteering off of people who can't be bothered or don't look into it and just pay. Do you know what I mean? Because these people just leave it. Oh, yeah. Renew, yeah. This is what annoys me, yeah. I'm going to rant a little bit about... Oh, Kieran's going to rant. About gas certificate app. Oh, right. Not about the app, but that people moan about paying £15 a month to help run their business. Mm. Like like you say, people will happily spend £10 a month on Netflix mm -hmm. just to watch shit on the TV. Mm. If they put their prices up, they don't, they don't moan. But when there's, they're paying for something that's helping run their business and they still moan about the prices, it just don't make sense. Mm, but what you've got to think of is here is like, what competition is there to Netflix? True. That's what... But it, it doesn't matter. They still... Yeah, I, know, I know what you're saying, but the general... Con they're, they're stuck, really. There, there ain't a lot... I mean, you've got Prime and all that. Most people, they've got Netflix, they've got Prime. They've got, they've got most stuff anyway, ain't they? Mm. They ain't got even... Some people... They ain't got one or the other a lot of the time. Most people have got generally everything now because we're all greedy and we all want everything, yeah? But when you've got one thing like you, there's other competition out there and people are like... Maybe because you, Netflix you know? is more of a... Oh, what's the word? It's a luxury, isn't it? It's a luxury. So people that's like part of work and van insurance, they're going to moan about a pound. Yep. But when it's a luxury, that's, their yep. mindset is like, I don't yeah. care, just yeah, pay it. because I want it. Yeah. But if you think £15 a month, like that... Even going off them prices, if you charge seventy pound for a job, you've got to not even do a third of a job or less to cover that yeah, for a whole month. I know. It just don't make sense. Like why people moan about these right. little things. Like I, I'm not one of those that would moan. I I see the benefit in things. Yeah, I don't think fifteen pound a month. Um, but people spend that on a. <laughs> I don't away. pay it though. <laughs> 
It's more, I'm okay. just for free, cause like, you know what I mean? I'm more no, just okay, bringing, up, bringing it up because people moan about spending things that actually yeah, benefit yeah, yeah. them. Yeah. But then they'll go and spend something on a luxury I know. that's a waste that's, of money. That is, that is the thing. It's the same with like a boiler, isn't it? Like people mm. always moan that they've got to buy a boiler. Right? It's yeah. going to keep you warm. It's going to keep you bathed. Yeah. But they don't like spending it. But yet they'll spend it on a, a brand luxury. new car or yeah, a TV yeah. and don't see don't see and they'll that. pay ten grand interest on and it. And what like. they don't that, that's the thing that's always got me about people who, who buy luxury cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's because that's all like look at me, what I've got, blah blah blah, and they'll lose that money off the forecourt as they drive it, which mm. would have paid for a boiler plus the interest. <laughs> like, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's another thing. People have got to be careful. Like it's times like now where everyone's mortgage has come up, have gone up, they can't control. You can't. If yep. you go above your means, it's going to catch up with you. Yep. So there's a lot of people oh. out there spending above their means. Now their mortgages have come up, they're going to struggle. The budget will have been done by now as well, wouldn't it? When's the budget, Robbie? Has the budget been yet? Budget for what? The budget. For the UK? The UK, yeah. The UK budget. That's, I don't know. That's next. I don't really do that's, politics. That's this week, I think. Oh, it would have been and gone by the time this episode goes out. But yeah, it's important to don't you got to you got to spend what you can afford. Don't and he's going to hammer us on tax day. Are she is? It's on the thirtieth of October. So yeah, on the tomorrow day, on the date of filming, it'll be tomorrow. Tomorrow, the, that they're going to hammer us on the tax. Mm. They are going to hammer us. I've heard that they might put it up. Yeah, I've not might. They are. Well, we'll find out, wouldn't we? When this episode goes out. We'll. This is we'll why not. a lot of people. I, I would never do it. A lot of people obviously move into like Dubai and stuff, like business owners, but not every business owner, you couldn't as a plumber go and move there. If you've got like online business people. Well, like I mean, where are you going to put your radiators over there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I see a video. They have to do your fuel. I don't think they look this up, Robbie, in case I'm wrong. I don't think they have petrol garages. People come to your house to fill up your car. Do they? It's like Uber. You go on an app, so I need to refuel my car. And they come to your house and fuel fuel your car. Do they? I see someone do it, but I don't know. I don't know if they don't have garages. That's why they do it, or they have both options. But people can come to your house and refuel your car. I think they have both. I, I think you they, don't I believe think, me, I do think, you? I think they still have petrol stations. But okay, but no, I see someone yeah. do it. They come to your house, refuel your car. They come to your house, house, <laughs> and refuel your car. So they do have petrol stations. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? They do have petrol stations in Dubai. The place in the Arab states <laughs> where where oil is huge. <laughs> no, they must... they got petrol stations. No, but they might just work off of coming to your house. I'm not saying they can't how, how, have... Kieran, right? How are you going to get that many... How many cars there are in That's a country? That's the infrastructure they have. They might, they, that might be a service that somebody provides. Do they definitely have petrol stations? To a sheep they do, yeah, or something yeah. like that. Maybe it's just a luxury again. Come to your house and refuel your yeah, car for yeah. you. Let's start it out here. Do you want to come? You, you, we'll put, how would you make money on that out here? How much is fuel at the moment? It's well dear, isn't it? Do you know, you should. A, bit, a good idea would be people coming to wash your car. Like book someone in to that uh, on an app. What no, you, you have to ring. It's, it's no, like, you have to ring them up. I mean, it's on like an a app. new fad. <laughs> on an app, they have mobile like. Yeah, I know that, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> you could go on Google, ring someone up. <laughs> what are you talking about? But that you can get it done there and th that day. You probably can. Yeah, but you have to ring about twenty people. <laughs> Everything's got to be on an app with gear in it. We we need a valet washing company on the on an app. <laughs> we need a petrol station man on an app. We need everything on an app. Should we just end this now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on. Uh, what? What do you want me to say? I don't know. I'm just like, speak. No, everything's app based in it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's the way forward. It's the way forward, folks. How about an app on an app? <laughs> <laughs> it's just do an app for everything. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. It's, um, what else you've been doing then? Anything much? Anything? Did you watch that film I told you about? Fred. No, oh, I need to. Your bell end, mate. Why What's it called? It? Fred's. I told you to watch it. We ended up watching bloody Maths and Big Brother all weekend. Maths, doing my editing. That Maths, right? There, there are some horrible.
on there, isn't they? Make sure you bleep that out, right? That Alex, he's a bit of a... Yeah. He's, he's just got a big ego. He, he's got a big ego. But I think some of the stuff he says, I think... Now, that Polly, that Polly, she is a... Polly want a cracker? Oh, I, I, we can't stand her. I've got, I got her, right? I, I videoed her, right? Yeah. I, I videoed her. I videoed me just listening to her because she's doing a commentary on it. Does your missus do a commentary on it? When no. you're watching it, my missus, she's like, that fucking she's... Oh... And she's, I'm, I'm recording it. Oh, it's hilarious. I'll show you it after. It's hilarious. What all the things she's saying about these people that she hates about them. It's brilliant. Are you watching Big Brother? No, I ain't. It's good, honestly. Oh, shush, kid. No, it is. Yeah, who's in it? Is well, it just, just normal people? It's not people? celebs. Yeah, oh, it's not it's celebs. Normal. All right. Honestly, it's good. Because the thing with these shows, you watch maths, so you'll like Big Brother because it's all drama. Yeah. That's why people watch these shows because you, you want the drama, didn't you? Yeah. Maybe we can get a show on an app. <laughs> yeah, Netflix, Derek. <laughs> oh, yeah, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. All right, then. Should we not bore any... No, nah, we're boring any... now. We ain't really spoke about much, really, have we? But, um... No. But please listen to us again. Yeah. Don't beg. <laughs> but that's beggy, isn't it? That's proper beggy, isn't it? Proper beggy. All right. But, all right, yeah, thanks for the... Uh, yeah, thanks uh, my, for listening. My, listen, my bird right. hates this. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Is that what you say? <laughs> I said it the other week on the program. Uh, 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 Are you going to end it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> See Thanks you later. for tuning in. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this has been another episode of Off The Job Podcast. Thanks for watching the show on YouTube or listening on Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts and all other streaming platforms. If it's your first time watching or not, make sure to subscribe below and follow us on all the big social media stuff like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. For our overtime show on Monday, send us in your stories and comments for it to be read out on the show. Send it in via email, direct message through our social media accounts or WhatsApp us on 07457 406259. And we'll see you on the next episode.